Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 10 of exercise 9.1. The question says two poles of equal heights are standing opposite to each other on the either side of the road which is 80 meter wide. From a point between them on the road the angle of elevation of the top of the pole are 60 degrees and 30 degrees respectively. You have to find the height of the poles and the distance of the point from the poles. So, it is given that there are uh, there is a road which is 80 meter wide and two poles of equal height are standing on the opposite side of this road and from the uh, from a point between these pole on the road the angle of elevation is given to you as 30 and 60. Obviously if I sh place this point here this will be greater angle so this will be 60 and this will be smaller angle so this will be 30 and obviously these two pole will be perpendicular on the ground so we can have two right angle triangles if I name this, this is A, B, C, D and E. So this is, these are the two triangles and if this complete road is of 80 meters and if I suppose this distance is x meter, so the remaining must be 80 minus x meters. So the remaining will be 80 minus x meters. Now if I consider the height of the pole as h meters, so this must also be equals to h meters because both the poles are given of equal height. Again, I have already discussed that the figure is important, then obviously two triangles are formed and you have to use the ratio for 10 theta in both the triangles and then you have to solve those two equations. This is the basic funda that will remain same throughout the chapter. So, Let's solve in the first triangle which is ABC. So in triangle ABC I have to use for 10 theta that will be equals to perpendicular upon base. Here the theta is equals to 10 30 degree. Perpendicular is the side opposite to this. Sorry here the angle is of 60 degrees for smaller triangle. Uh, and the side opposite to this will be the height and base will be of x because we have considered that this base is of x meters. Now if I substitute the value of 1060 degrees which is root 3 so the value of height will be equals to uh, root 3 x or you can say the value of x will be h by root 3. This is our first equation. Now similarly in the second triangle which is triangle BDE. In triangle BDE again I have to use the ratio for 10 theta that will be equal to perpendicular upon base. Here the theta is given to you as 30 degrees. Perpendicular will be the side opposite to this theta again which is equal to h meters upon base for this triangle must be equal to 80 minus x meters. So this will be 80 minus x meters. Now the value of 1030 is given to you as 1 upon root 3 that will be equal to h upon 80 minus x. If I cross multiply this, this will be 80 minus x and this will be h root 3. First of all you have to find the value of h which is the height of the pole for that you can substitute the value of h uh, substitute the value of x from this first equation into this second equation. So I am substituting the value of x here from the first equation. So this will be equal to 80 minus h upon root 3 that will be equal to h root 3. Now I can shift this variable part to the right hand side. So 80 will be equals to h root 3 plus h by root 3. 
this negative when shifted to that side will become positive. Now I can take h as common. So from first, if h is taken out, only root three will remain. And from the second, if h is taken out, only one upon root three will remain inside the bracket. And this will be equal to h. If I take root three LCM here, because this is the fraction, and if you want to add the fraction, you need to take LCM here. Now, LCM will be root three cross multiplying this. Sorry, uh, this will be three plus one. Now, eighty will be equals to this will become four and four h upon root three. So the value of h here will be equals to eighty root three upon four. When this fraction, which is four upon root three, when shifted to this side. Will get reciprocal means denominator will become numerator and numerator will become denominator. So this can be cancelled twenty times. So the height will be equal to twenty root three. So the height here should be equal to twenty root three. If you substitute the value of root three as one point seven three and you multiply the twenty, you will get your answer in decimal. So you need to substitute the value here as 1.73 and multiply it by 20. We'll get your answer. Now you have to find the distance of the point from the pole. Means for that you need to find this x. And to find the value of x, what I can do is I can substitute the value of h here from here because the value of h is 20 root 3. If I substitute the value of h as 20 root 3 here, I'll get my value of x. H is twenty root three upon root three. Root three root three can be cancelled. The value of H will be uh, sorry. The value of X will be equals to twenty meters. So obviously, if from this point this is twenty, so obviously the remaining must be equals to sixty meters because this is eighty minus X and the X is equals to twenty meters. So this is how you can solve this tenth question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address, and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.